Earth. The cradle of humanity throughout our existence. But it won't be forever. All it would take would be one giant meteorite to wipe us off the face of the Earth. It's not just meteors. Our planet will change. Our planet could freeze over or it could heat up. And our sun will eventually die. We are actually near the end of habitability of Earth. To survive in this universe, we need an insurance policy to colonize other worlds. Having multiple planets which are colonized is really in our interest for our own survival. So, can we find a new home in the galaxy? Can we find Earth 2.0? For centuries, we only knew of the handful of planets in our own solar system. Now, astronomers are finding thousands of new worlds around alien stars, exoplanets. We are discovering exoplanets by the bucketful. There are as many planets out there as there are stars, and there are hundreds of billions of stars in the galaxy. But out of billions of exoplanets, are there any that could offer new opportunities for humanity to thrive and provide sanctuary in a dangerous universe? Is there an Earth 2.0? Is Earth 2.0 out there? That will be truly amazing. August 2016. Astronomers announce that Earth 2.0 could be closer than anyone ever expected. A planet orbiting the sun's nearest stellar neighbor the red dwarf, Proxima Centauri. So it turns out that our nearest star neighbor has an exoplanet. It's only about four light years away, so that means that it's actually potentially possible for us to get there and to explore it. Scientists name the planet after the star, Proxima Centauri b, or Proxima b for short a world that appears to be a lot like Earth. From the way it's tugging on the star, Proxima Centauri, we know that it has 1.3 times the Earth's mass, but it's roughly the same size as the Earth. Of the exoplanets we know about, most are uninhabitable gas giants, like Jupiter. Proxima b is a rare find an Earth-sized planet. But an Earth-sized planet might not be Earth-like. A true second Earth must also be the right distance from its star. The habitable zone, or some people call it the Goldilocks region, is a distance away from the star where you're not so close where you're going to burn up and evaporate all of your liquids, and you're not so far away where you're frigid and, and cold. So it's that special region where it's just, just right. Does Proxima b lie in this region? Could it have liquid water? Proxima Centauri b orbits its star once every 11.2 days. So compare that to the Earth, which goes around the sun once every 365 days. That's because the planet is much, much closer to the star than the Earth is to the sun. Earth orbits 93 million miles from the sun. 
Proxima b orbits 20 times closer, under 5 million miles from its star. You might think that Proxima b should be, you know, a really a fried world, uh, a burnt out husk, if you will. But Proxima b's sun is very different than ours. At just over 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, it's half as hot and roughly eight times smaller. An M-class red dwarf star. An M dwarf, the Proxima b is around, is much less bright, much less hot. So you can orbit much closer to that star and be at the same temperature that we are here on Earth. Proxima b's tight orbit around the red dwarf could make the planet habitable. But it would be very different from Earth. The star dominates the sky, lighting any oceans and mountains with an alien red glow. So Proxima b may be the Earth 2.0 that we've been looking for. But in 2017, the dim red dwarf star erupts in a way that's unlike anything we've seen before. Blasting the planet with radiation. A mega flare. They're like solar flares, but they can be much more powerful. In fact, they can outshine the star itself. Our sun releases powerful solar flares when its magnetic field becomes tangled. But the mega flare is 10 times stronger than our sun's strongest flares. On an M dwarf star, that magnetic field can get a lot more tangled than on our own sun. That means that when a flare happens, it can release a lot more energy. Scientists believe that mega flares like this are planet killers. Radiation tears the atmosphere from the planet. And these mega flares hit Proxima b roughly once every year. Red dwarf stars are incredibly temperamental. They are not good parents to their planets. So if Proxima b did have an atmosphere at one point, it would have been stripped away by one of these violent outbursts. Leaving Proxima b dangerously exposed to space. An atmosphere dampens the temperature gradients between light and shadow. So in sunlight, it is just burning hot. But right next door in a shadow, it is freezing cold. Without an atmosphere, Proxima b would be a barren wasteland, blasted by intense radiation from its star, completely uninhabitable. Proxima b, our perhaps best shot at finding Earth 2.0 so far, is actually a dried out husk of a world that has lost its atmosphere, maybe lost any water that it also harbored, uh, simply by being that close to its parent star.